I was bitten by a Rottweiler when I was like 15 years old. I just wanted to have some fun. I just wanted to do something very different than what I've ever done before. And then it started getting closer and closer, and I just wanted to, to get to the finale. So it meant so much to, to make it this far, and I'm very happy with the whole journey. I am so blown away I'm still standing. I mean, that was by far the best performance of the entire show. I had no idea how difficult it was going to be. I know what I'm capable of with, with dancing, with singing, and I had no idea how difficult all of that was going to be once you put the costume on. It was extremely challenging. There was a lot of challenges that start to get in your head and start to maybe send you in a downward spiral and you have to kind of like snap out of it. I think it's made me very aware that I'm capable of so much more. I'm capable of, of doing more in my own performances. I'm capable of the things that I thought were too difficult. I feel like it's just given me a, a better sense of self awareness, more uh, belief in myself. Your compliments are so amazing. I feel like they're directed to someone better than me. This whole experience has helped me to believe in myself more than I ever have, so wow. thank you. Aww. I'm so grateful. Oh, we love you. You so deserve it, dog. The anonymity part was uh, so fun. Being anonymous and just getting to go out and perform without worrying about what they think I'm doing based on who they think I am, based on who they think I should be or how I should be performing. That was uh, very liberating for me. I was bitten by a Rottweiler when I was like 15 years old. It snapped and bit my leg, and I was terrified of Rottweilers ever since. Kind of like Batman was afraid of bats, so he became Batman. <laughs> I became the Rottweiler, yeah. Billy Joe Armstrong, welcome to the Masked Singer! Yeah. Darren Chris. Gavin Rossdale. Well, he's not Joe McHale because he's humble. <laughs> wow. We know it's not Ken Jeong because he works out. So. <laughs> I felt very alive during this whole process. I felt very present. I felt very challenged. And it just made me feel, for lack of better terms, it made me feel alive. And I thought that song really summed up the entire process for me. I have right? to take a breath for that one because I think it's the most vulnerable an honest performance you've ever given, one of the most vulnerable and honest performances we've seen on that stage. When you just brought tears to my eyes, it was just, I feel like you flipped your heart inside out for us, and you just bared it all. I feel like this is like my, my spirit animal now. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. You, you did all right, you did all right. He's so cute. I don't get to see what you guys see. Open mouth, non-expressive face. I miss you, bud. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for the love. Thanks for cheering me on the whole way. I uh, hope to see you guys out on the road.